<laughs> DJI just flipped the script with the Neo 2. And it's not what anyone expected. Instead of another minor refresh, think, longer range, pro level control, and future ready upgrades, all from a tiny port on the back of the drone. The DJI Neo 2 just got a massive twist. And it's not just another firmware upgrade. This time, DJI is introducing something entirely new, a detachable external transceiver module. Yep, the Neo 2 features a sleek plug-in design that connects via USB-C on the back of the drone, allowing it to unlock powerful new capabilities. This external module is far more than just an add-on. It's a game changer for the DJI Neo 2. By enabling OcuSync support, likely OcuSync 4, it gives the drone a huge leap in connectivity and performance. Expect longer range, reduced latency, and a rock-solid video transmission compared to the standard built-in Wi-Fi. With this powerful upgrade, pilots can now pair the Neo 2 with DJI Goggles N3, motion controllers, and professional-grade remotes, unlocking an immersive and responsive flight experience. It's a bold step that turns the compact Neo 2 into a serious contender for both hobbyists and pros. It's also a smart move from DJI. Instead of locking users into expensive hardware tiers, the modular design lets pilots upgrade their gear without replacing the whole drone. It's flexible, future-proof, and surprisingly budget-friendly. For under $250, DJI is bringing pro-level features like gesture and voice control, upgraded flight time, and direct charging to the ultra-lightweight drone category. If you love affordable, travel-friendly drones, this might just be your next must-have gadget. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and drop a comment below with your first impressions. I'd love to hear what you think about this sleek new DJI release. Now, let's break it down. The DJI Neo 2 is designed for solo travelers, vloggers, and beginners who want smooth, cinematic shots without lugging around heavy gear. The design keeps its ultra-portable identity, weighing in at just 135 grams, lighter than most smartphones, yet it looks and feels far more capable than its predecessor. According to early leaks and images shared by Igor Bogdanov, the Neo 2 maintains a familiar look, but with noticeable refinements. One of the biggest visual upgrades is the addition of new omnidirectional sensors, now visible on both the front and rear sides. These sensors enhance obstacle detection and stability, giving users a safer, smarter flying experience. The most noticeable visual upgrade on the DJI Neo 2 is the addition of new omnidirectional sensors on the front. This marks a major improvement over the first Neo's limited obstacle detection system. The updated setup provides greater environmental awareness, helping the drone navigate tight spaces and avoid collisions even in complex flight paths. However, given the Neo 2's lightweight sub-250 gram design, they're more likely advanced optical or infrared sensors rather than true LiDAR. On the rear, a redesigned digital transmission receiver and antenna system powered by DJI's OcuSync 4 technology ensures a stronger, more stable connection, ideal for FPV goggles and wireless controllers. With smoother real-time transmission and improved control, the DJI Neo 2 strikes a perfect balance between portability, performance, and safety for both new and experienced pilots. When it comes to visuals, the camera system has taken a major leap forward. The Neo 2 can now shoot in 4K at 60 frames per second, doubling the frame rate of the original Neo. Add 10-bit HDR and D-Log-M color profiles to the mix, and you've got a compact drone capable of delivering professional-grade footage. It runs on a 1-1.3-inch CMOS sensor with 13.5 EV stops of dynamic range, ensuring crisp detail, rich colors, and balanced exposure, even in tricky lighting conditions. The gimbal has also been upgraded from a single axis to a two-axis stabilization system, offering noticeably smoother footage during flight. Combine that with smart features like auto return home, object tracking, and gesture slash voice control, and you're looking at one of the smartest compact drones DJI has ever made. Battery life has improved too, now offering up to 19 minutes of flight time, while still keeping the drone lightweight. Another win? Direct charging support. You can now charge it straight via cable, no bulky hub required. Pricing is refreshingly simple and budget-friendly. The Fly Solo bundle priced at $229, the Creator Combo at $299, the FPV Starter Pack at $399,
and the Fly More kit at $449. And since it's a sub 249 gram drone, you won't need to register it with the FAA in most regions. That makes it perfect for travelers and hobbyists who want to skip the paperwork and start flying right away. So, mark your calendars for October 30th. DJI's Compact King is almost here, and it's shaping up to be one of the most value-packed drones of 2025. Now it's your turn. Will you be buying the DJI Neo 2 when it drops, or are you already flying a different drone? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Excitement is building among tech enthusiasts and content creators as fresh prototype photos of the upcoming DJI Pocket 4 have surfaced online, offering the first real glimpse at DJI's next generation Pocket Gimbal camera. The leaked image, reportedly captured during a promotional video shoot in Barcelona, has quickly spread across social platforms, fueling speculation about what the company has in store. Interestingly, DJI has remained completely silent. There's been no official teaser or announcement, adding even more intrigue to the buzz surrounding the leak. For years, the DJI Pocket Series has been the go-to choice for vloggers, travelers, and videographers who crave cinematic stabilization in a compact form. The Pocket 3 earned global praise for its smooth 4K recording and portability, becoming especially popular in Japan's thriving creator community. The leaked image provides a remarkably detailed look at the Pocket 4 prototype. Subtle design refinements, including a slightly altered button layout, suggest DJI is focused on both usability and comfort. The button layout under the display has changed slightly in the new model. On the Pocket 3, this area only displayed the Osmo logo, which had no functional purpose. However, in the Pocket 4, DJI has replaced the logo with two additional physical buttons. These buttons are believed to be linked to the rumored dual camera setup, potentially allowing users to switch between main and secondary cameras, toggle focal lengths, or activate a split screen or dual view mode. Positioned for convenient thumb access, the new buttons reflect DJI's focus on giving creators faster, more intuitive control during filming, reducing reliance on touchscreen menus. Further digging reveals no official DJI link to the studio hinting that it may belong to a freelance photographer or small production crew, a strategy DJI has used before for early promotional material. Meanwhile, locals in Barcelona have reported sightings of a possible DJI promo shoot, aligning with the leak's backdrop. If true, DJI is likely testing the Pocket 4's stabilization and performance in dynamic outdoor conditions, a fitting preview for a camera designed to capture life on the move.